Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I have a home goods haul slash target haul slash just home decor in general haul for you guys. Got quite a few things, so I'm not gonna do a long intro. I hope you enjoy it. So the first place that I stopped was Target and I got quite a few things at Target. Um, first of all, we actually recently ordered outdoor furniture for our patio and I got not one, but two rugs. And this is by the company Smith and Hawken, and obviously I got it at Target. And this is their outdoor black grid mug. This is a five by seven rug. And it's got kind of like this jute rug look with like black woven into it. I feel like you guys can't see it super well. When I found this, the tag that was like in the section where it was said $60. And then when I got closer to the checkout, I uh, scanned it on my Target card to make sure if there was a coupon, I applied it to my cart. Um, and it was actually $90, which kind of stinks because I got two of these. And the main reason I got two is because I feel like layered rugs are kind of in. And even though I got the same of, like, or two of the same, I don't know if it comes in a bigger size. If it does, it wasn't available at the Target I was at. Yes, I could order it online, but I just figured if one is big enough, cool, I'll return the other one. If not, I can do a layered rug look and look like I'm trendy or something. So maybe those are already out of trend. I can't keep up these days, but I got two of those. Next up, I got two picture frames. Um, these are just like the 18 by 24, like super generic picture frames they have at Target. They're cheap and they look pretty nice for the most part. So um, I got this one, which will uh, I'm going to use for a painting that I need to frame and hang in our living room. And then I got literally the exact same one, but in the gold version. And this one is going to be for um, a print that I purchased while I was in Disney to go in my office. I actually already have this frame for a different piece of art that I have in my office. So I figured it will tie the two together, you know, nicely on my gallery wall. Next up from Target, I got this just knitted blanket. I feel like I'm always looking for cute throws and I was kind of disappointed with what they had at Target. Um, I thought they would have some more prints, want prints, like throws with prints, because I have a lot of kind of just like generic throws, like this gray one. I have a pink one upstairs in my office, like, but I wanted a couple of printed ones just to bring a little bit of excitement into the room, but I couldn't find any, but I did opt for this um, gray knit one. And I think I'm gonna layer it over a bench that's like sitting behind the couch right here. Um, and then I also got this basket to go up towards the front of the living room so that I can store, um, you know, blankets, pillows in here. Um, I think this was like $30, um, which I thought was kind of expensive for a basket, but it is really cute and really big. And I think my blankets will look really cute in it. I think that's everything that I ended up getting from Target. I think. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, so next up is obviously home goods. Picked up an extension cord for Brendan because he needs one in his office. So I feel like I have a really hard time picking out decor for myself because for whatever reason, I I am drawn to like farmhouse decor pieces, but I would not describe my style as farmhouse at all. Like maybe some of like the industrialness of a farmhouse look, but that's pretty much it. I'm more of like a modern contemporary person, I feel like, even though this is like, this is pretty farmhouse, I feel like this mirror right here. Anyways, I have a hard time picking out decor and I have to really, um, hold myself back from purchasing farmhouse decor because then I'll get it home and I'll be like, oh, this doesn't match anything that I have. But I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, have to have this. I love like wood and I love like simpl the simplicity of black and white. And this is a black and white vase, but it has like a wood grained like detailing to it. And I just thought this was so freaking pretty. I'm gonna put one long flower in this. I don't know where it's gonna go. Maybe my dining table, maybe my bedroom. I really don't know, but I love this. And I kind of wish there was like a little small one to go with it, because I, I think it's so pretty. Next up, I got one of the most high maintenance things ever. So I feel like when you buy a house, you just slowly want to accumulate nicer versions of the things that you have. 
And apparently Tupperware is no exclusion of that because I saw these and I literally had to have them. They didn't even have a price on them, but I picked them up anyways. And I was like, I'll figure it out at the checkout counter. Um, but these are glass Tupperware containers with bamboo lids. I have a lot of bamboo like small details in my kitchen and I just thought these would look really nice. Whether they're holding stuff in my fridge, whether it's in my lunchbox, I just really, really like these and I have no regrets buying them. They were $5.99 each after she was able to figure out the price for me. Um, so I feel like not bad for little glass food containers. Next up, I got this green thing you're seeing over here. I got another fake plant. I think this is going to be the new centerpiece on my dining table, but it is just this like really nice black and white grid sort of print concrete looking thing. It's $24.99. Um, all of these are bendable, which I really, really like so that I can kind of, you know, really make them look exactly how I want them to. Um, but yeah, I just figured I liked like the volume that it has and I thought it would look really nice sitting on my dining room table. My battery's flashing, I need to hurry. Okay, one more thing. Lastly, I got a lamp. I have been searching for a lamp for our master bedroom for so long and I've never been able to find one that I felt like I like, that fits the aesthetic, that, I don't know. This one was $99. And I don't really regret it because I've been looking for a lamp that I like for so long. And it is this amazing like marble stone brick pattern lamp. And what's so cool about it is that there are actually lights. Like there's, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, there's a light like inside of here. So not only does the bulb light up, but this lights up and like glows with from within which I think is so cool. And I think this is going to look amazing sitting on our dresser. So yeah, that's like a quick home decor haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick style video. I literally just got back from the store. So yeah, it's about to thunder and rain outside. So I'm gonna grab a little cup of tea and start spreading these things around my home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below. A lot more home decor content is coming. I've got some room transformation videos coming. So if you're into that kind of thing, please hit subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah.